I'm Jesse, and Ink is a Verb is my software brand. I want to empower the world through Linux. And in this live hall meeting, kind of like a town hall, if we were doing Apple or Mac World or however, however they do things over at Apple in their way, I'm doing this kind of a version of a thing to talk about some announcements and some software updates and releases and about what the brand is. So, welcome to the live hall, the very first. Last week, I updated my servers. If you're one of my customers, you probably didn't know while I was doing it because I'm that awesome. These servers, if you're not a customer, are a webmail cloud website recipe. All of this on one simple server to keep costs super low for entrepreneurs. Now, if you want to spend a little more money, we can spread the servers out. You know, so you've got email over here and cloud over there and website over here. We can do that, but that's a little bit pricey. And for a lot of people that are just running a simple little tiny small business, there's no reason to go overboard with that much security. I mean, a, a deadbolt lock and a normal key lock are good for most people's front doors. You don't need to do Ebenezer Scrooge with what, like 10 door locks just for a normal house usually. So it's about proper budgeting and smartness, but it's scalable. I can do both. Well, with this recent update for your server that I updated, you're now using my new back end framework. And you might not see that so much directly, but email messages should get delivered a little bit faster. Some of the email messages like uh, verifications, like, you know, you log into medium.com, uh, they send you an email link, not a password, but an email link. That might have gotten delayed before just to see if it was spam proof. What was actually happening was, if you want to know the geekery, the server was saying to medium.com, are you real or are you a spammer? Send that email again and let me see. And if medium.com would have to, in its own time, when it's jolly well ready, send the email a second time before that login link expires. Well, people were having trouble with their login links expiring. Medium.com hasn't been a problem, but Etsy was, and so was Coinbase. Well, those emails will no longer be delayed. That, that delay factor, okay, send it again just to make sure you're real, that's not useful. I got rid of that. So you should be receiving your emails more quickly. Also, it's on the new backend framework, which is going to allow me to do three things really, really simply. One, I'll be able to make updates very quickly and improve your product much, much more quickly without me having to do everything manually. That'll also remove error. So faster, more accurate updates. Also, managing information. I, I don't want to get too much into technical talk, but it's called DNS. In order to have secure email and secure SSL, a lot of security stuff, Websites and emails are getting more integrated into the DNS zone. You might, if you register a domain, you'll see DNS zone. Typically, you put the name of your website there and you're done. These days, what your email is doing, what your SSL certificates, that, 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 that padlock, the little HTTPS and it's green maybe, or yellow, which is probably okay, rather than just HTTP, the HTTPS, SSL, even that is getting integrated more into the DNS zone. And so these days, you'd have to go into your DNS zone and put in information about your SSL certs and, and other secret email uh, passwords and stuff to make semi pub like, like there's a public key and a private key and I, like, You'd have to go in and do all that stuff with your DNS zone in order to be secure with your email server. Because of how I'm running things on my new framework, you won't even know about that and it'll all be happening automatically. 
Um, in fact, I've been managing that for you and you haven't even known it because I'm that, I'm that cool. So we'll be dealing with, um, we've got better framework for managing stuff on the back end and I'll be able to deliver updates and new features more quickly and more accurately because we're, we're automating regular processes. And third, what's coming is VPN. Soon, you will be able to use the server. You've already got $20 a month. You've already got this server for your email, for your websites, for your cloud backup. Soon, you will be able to use the same server for your own VPN, virtual private network. Now, what that basically does is you log into another website and that website goes to websites for you. So your internet service provider doesn't know all the websites you're going to. And if your internet service provider doesn't, someone hacking into your ISP won't know it. And someone hacking into your Wi-Fi router won't know it. So, uh, it's, it's a better security thing. Now, these servers are, are hyper slim and hyper trim. If you start doing VPN stuff and all your web surfing through that server, it might overload it. So if you want to do serious, serious, serious VPN work, you might need to get a more expensive server, but those are available. That that's not a problem. But if you need a VPN for something like checking email with your email client, or you need to, uh, use a, a secure browser to log into a news website or a blog or something once or twice, you do have a VPN that will be available soon. If you need it to be more seriously used, you can just add a little bit of money to it, uh, and, and get the more expensive server. Another thing on, on top of all that, that's coming. VPN is coming with what you already have. It's that's going to be coming. More features will also be coming to what you already have. Some of the things that you already have that, that many of you as my customers are not taking full advantage of is next cloud. It's a lot like Dropbox, but also your own calendar in your own to do list and your own contacts that, you know, Google has a contact service and they have a calendar service. And I do believe to do list can also synchronize with that. You can get all of that on your own server through next cloud. Next cloud is an open source cloud sync backup app, and they've got stuff available for Apple stuff and for Android and for windows and for Linux, of course, which I hope you're using. I want people to use Linux. Nextcloud is very, very powerful. And now I've got the framework laid in so that you can get $1 for 10 gigabytes of cloud. You could get one gigabyte at 10 cents if you want, but it's, it's, it, that's the rate, a dollar for 10 gigabytes. Now, the reason you're paying every month is because those are live servers that are constantly working and the electricity on them is running. It's not just a disc that's shoved on a shelf that you plug in when you need to buy it once. It's live, it's running, it's available online, it's constantly syncing and it will be fast. That's that storage space that you can use. You can back up your stuff on Nextcloud and you would own it. It's yours and it's isolated on your own VPS, your own virtual private server. You're not sharing space with other people. If someone wants to be a hacker to get into this, they'd have to hack into your specific server. They can't just hack into Google or hack into Dropbox and see everybody's stuff. They'd have to go after you specifically. That itself is a better security measure. And so, uh, that's, that's a powerful resource that I'd like to see people taking advantage of, but you've got to contact me and tell me how much you want, how much server space you want. And I, I will help you. I will walk you through the installation of getting next cloud installed on your computers and on your phones. And I will show you how to use the apps. You can synchronize your to-do lists. You can use your calendar and synchronize that. 
This is available to you and it's powerful and I strongly, strongly recommend you take advantage of it. Now, back to the big picture, the advantage of having all this on one server, you could say, okay, I've got my server running, it's on SSD. I can comfortably get about 15 to 20 gigabytes of use on that server without bogging it down already. But let's say that I want more. Let's say I want uh, 50 gigabytes for my uh, stuff. Well, that includes your websites and the media that you upload to it. See, if, if you get a website through wordpress.com and you want to have more space to upload pictures, you get some space to upload pictures, but if you want more space to upload your pictures, you have to pay wordpress.com. Now, let's say that you want to have a larger Dropbox. Well, you've got to also pay dropbox.com and that gives you a ceiling, boom, 100 gigabytes a year or whatever their tier is and that's it. Well, you can't scale it down to what you're using. It's boom, this much. And then you've got to pay WordPress, boom, this much. Well, with me, they're the same and you can scale it. And the price is it's generally about the same, especially for reliability of these servers. I'm using DigitalOcean, so that's they're they're all over the world, and and there are advantages to this. Like it's got its own CDN, but I don't need to get into all of that. You can use this one web space for whatever apps you're using. If it's your website app, like maybe you're using WordPress. If it's the space for that, if it's if it's Nextcloud that you're using to back up your files, you can scale the size and it's all the same size if you want to run it on the same server, which, which you are if you're doing the super simple version. Take advantage of this. I mean, back up your stuff, back up your files. I mean, it's just a few dollars for whatever, whatever your needs would be and they're scalable. Contact me. Um, one thing for people that aren't using my service or as a review for, for my customers who are, these servers offer human resource management software, free hosted customer relations, uh, and a CRM software. So you can contact clients and you can synchronize that with your own email and your own calendar stuff that's already on the server. This is using Orange HRM for human resources, Sweet CRM for customer relations, the, the CRM. It will do ghost, a ghost blog. You can install one of those. It'll do WordPress, which is very powerful and awesome. And that's, that's really the way to do e-commerce. WordPress could be improved upon and there are some questions about it and you can look into that. But the advantage of all these, in, I mean, including Nextcloud, including Roundcube for webmail, Postfix admin for controlling your own email addresses. And that can also be used with an email client, whether on your desktop or your phone. The advantage to all these is that all of this software, it's free and open source. You don't have to install this only on my server. You can just tell me now it's, it's if I do this for you, there's a little bit of a tech support time charge, of course. I'm eventually going to develop the software where you can log into the website and click on the pretty buttons and do it yourself. That's coming. But I can, and I will, if you want, download an entire backup copy of all this. You can give that to another uh, web geek, another code monkey, some other web server guy, and he'll look at it and he should know how to take that and reinstall it on another server. If you want to leave me as a customer, you can. I've made a front door and a back door, an escape hatch that you can walk out of anytime. Uh, of course, if you want me to do that, you're going to pay me a little bit of tech support for it, but you know, it's very doable. Nothing that I'm doing locks you into having to do business with me. It's all open source and available to others. Even the software I'm using to run these servers is open source. Now, the advantage to using me for this software that I'm developing 
is that I'm using my domains and by me using my domains, I have better synchronization with DNS, the, the domain server zone thing. And so, that makes that integrate better. But, I've written the software so that you can download this and install it on your own .com domain. It'll be longer. You'll have some DNS challenges a little bit, but it will work and it will function for others completely, totally free. So, if you're a developer looking for a way to get your own web server recipe, please check out the GitHub project and feel free to use it on your own domain. If you'd like to support the project for $10 a year, I will give you a subdomain from the verb, uh, this, this verb collection of, of domains and $10 a year, uh, you're welcome to use that. Please. Uh, fix stuff, make it better, help contribute. That, that's what developers do. They fix each other's software. It's all, software always needs fixing and improving. So, help join the team, the Inc. Verb software. Go to verb.inc. Verb.inc. It's got YouTube channel stuff. It's got GitHub. You can find out how to use stuff, web servers, uh, local software for your local Linux machine. It's all available. If you'd like to become one of my hosting customers, $20 a month is starting and you're going to get about 20 usable gigabytes of SSD on a server, which is, which is more than enough for most small businesses just trying to have a, a simple presence. Uh, contact me. That's also available to you. Get on board with this. Go to verb.inc, uh, I-N-K, the, the, the water that we write with in our pens. Check out the project, see what's going on, help contribute and take advantage of this software. All of this is open source, reliable and free and this really is the first video after developing this for several years. I've, I've been developing this software for about four years and this is really the launch video that I'm sharing with everybody to explain what this does. More is coming in the future. And I look forward to future business with my customers and I look forward to meeting new people who might be interested in the software. Thank you for watching.